Hello world, my name is Ben and this is AnyLogic 101, a video series where I explain quick tips and tricks about AnyLogic. And today I want to talk about one of the most important topics, for me at least. One of the core lessons that I teach my students as well, you know, this is the, the takeaway. If you just remember one or two things, this is one of them, documentation. And a very specific way of documenting your model. Obviously, it's super important to document your model. And I want to show you a way of making it very nice and reusable and actually following Java standards, which is a good idea because AnyLogic is a Java tool. So let's have a look. Um, the easiest way to document your model is provided by AnyLogic because every object in AnyLogic has a description tab at the bottom literally every object it's um it's out there for everything and what you should do is obviously write something in there for almost every object now first lesson what should you write you should not write what this is i can see that so in this case i'm in an agent and i have a variable v my name and obviously that variable stores my name. So please don't write that this variable stores agent name. That's absolutely irrelevant. I can see that. And you can see that if you revisit this model in a couple of weeks or months. There's no need to do that. Don't write what this is. So what should you write instead then? Well, two things. The first, the most important one is why is this here? Why did I create a variable v my name? Um, so that is the core bit. Why is this here? Uh, why is this being used? And then the second bit is optionally, when should you access it? Um, so in this case, you could say, why is this here? Um, each agent needs a name because some other part, model part, x relies on names. Very simple example. So bear with me with this stupid little thing. The core lesson is why, 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 why? Same for function. You could also describe what it's doing in the function code. In this case, this literally just returns the name of the agent. So very, very simple function. Um, so don't write to me what this is doing. Don't write this gives you the name of the agent. I can see that. <laughs> write why it's there. In this case, you could say that this variable v my name is private because nobody should ever change it. Uh, but we have this public getter, which is a standard Java thing. Don't worry if that doesn't mean anything to you. Um, but write this out. Why is it here? Um, use since v my name is private. That's that's good enough. That explains to me ah, this is uh, why this is here. Um, and any kind of complex what description should be as inside the code. So if you have very complex code here, with complicated functions, that's where you write what this is. And also again, why, but that's a different topic. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is um, a specific way of using these description tabs. Um, so normally if you run your model or if you, if you develop your model, you've documented this function just like we did. And now you're in some other place of the model and you want to use the function. So let's say I've got an instance of my agent on main. We don't actually need this. Can delete that? And I on startup of main, I know I want to do something with that. Uh, I know there was this function f get name with code complete. I've got it. And if you, if you've used code complete, please do. I'll post a different video on that. Um, you might have seen these little yellow descriptions already. And if you put something in the description tab for your function, this will actually pop up. So that's, that's nice enough. But you can go beyond that. Because there's something called Java doc handles that allow you to specify a couple of additional things. For example, there is something called at return that is a specific line where you specify what is this function returning. Here we have a what, which is valid. So you can say um, gives you the current name 
for the 80. So that's fine to put a little, a little what, what does it actually return here? Very good. Now, why do we have this weird add return thing? Well, if we go back to the code complete while we are somewhere else in the model, when we do the code complete, it now looks a little different. And we've got nice formatting saying this returns the name of this agent. So the add return has been uh, con converted into a nicely formatted standard uh, Java format. So there are a couple of other handles that you can use and should use. One is called add param. If your function has an input parameter, um, some input, whatever. Um, and now you can say some input, um, this is some input because x. Again, a y description is always very useful. And if we go back to code complete, sorry, that's here. We now have additional formatting where it lists all the parameters, some input, and then the description of what that some input parameter is doing. Now, one thing I always do in every object I create, and I recommend you do it as well, is to sign it uh, with a date or a version and your name. So I use two handles for that. And actually, literally, and this is, this is uh, not prepared, I literally always have a little uh, Windows note open that I just switch to while coding, I copy and paste uh, my little signage. So whenever I drag in a new object, for me, it's complete, completely automatic to go to that note, copy and paste my signature, which is at author, then my email address, and at since, and then the date when I created this. Um, this doesn't have to be a date. You can see I've got other things that use a version. So if you have a model that has different versions, you can say, when did you create this or when did you change this? Um, now, this is extremely useful if you collaborate with other people on the same model, because uh, it, you always know who created this function. So if you have questions in the future, uh, you can easily go there. Uh, it's useful for yourself with this date because I've had it many times where I tried to remember, well, when did I actually change that? Ah, it says, you know, two months ago. That's when I did that. And it's, it's very helpful to have a, a timestamp there as well. Um, but not only that, if you develop uh, models for customers, it's also very useful for them if they have a question in the future. Maybe somebody new uses the model that didn't know you, but they see in the signature automatically who did it and they can just reach out. And again, with the code complete, it's also nicely formatted. So since when does this function exist and who created it? So these four handles, I do recommend you, you use. The first two you typically only use for functions. Uh, the last two you should get into the habit of using for any object, any time. And remember, the first kind of description is ideally a why, not a what. All right, these are my, my core lessons on documentation. Thanks a lot for watching.